If a plan to legalize marijuana in Oregon passes this year, what will the state do to make sure it's safe? We found out there's a push to regulate testing labs, and, and that's something they say would help medical marijuana patients as well. Our Tim Becker has been, uh, he's here, he's looking into it all day long. Yeah, well, this is all about patient safety. Right now, Oregon's system, their medical marijuana business, doesn't have someone to test the lab testers. Well, I found out that is a problem on several levels. One the state hopes to iron out before recreational marijuana becomes legal also. Patients are relying on us to give them true numbers. Inside this lab in Northeast Portland. It's pretty fragrant. Medical marijuana samples get a full workover. There's only one proper way, and that is um, the most analytically accurate way. And here, if you look, these are standards. We, we get them from a national laboratory supply company. Owner Rashawn Reardon tells me everything here. That's chromatography, mass spectrometry. Is about accuracy and valid testing. This industry is rapidly growing, and unregul unregulated laboratories is a public health risk. House Bill 3460, implemented this year, is supposed to provide patients with safe cannabis products. It requires testing for potent pesticide and mold but it also fails to give the state authority to oversee the companies doing the safety testing something that the Oregon Health Authority's Tom Burns says puts its patients health at risk Reardon agrees um, there's no way for us to have a standard playing field where we all are doing the same processes um, that are standardized. Hoping to change that, she just submitted this draft concept to the Legislative Council's office, calling in part for state authority to license and spot check labs in Oregon, regulation that'll keep producers and labs honest. So right now, sometimes people can go around and shop for, shop for results, essentially. and Shop for results. Mm -hmm. As in, pay to get better results. Not only illegal, but also risky for patients who she wants to protect. I think that's the goal, is to have some type of regulated testing industry now in the medical program, so it'll ease the transition to a recreational market. And again, you remember a lot of Colorado's success in the recreational pot industry came about because they already had established systems mm -hmm. with their medical marijuana, something Washington didn't have. Will Oregon follow suit? We're going to follow this all the way to the ballot box and beyond to see what happens. Thank you.